Welcome, everyone, to today's debate on the nature of the Godhead. We'll be exploring the theological perspectives of both Christian and Mormon beliefs. We believe in the doctrine of the Trinity, one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is fully God and fully man, the second person of the Trinity. We believe in God the Father, His Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost as distinct beings, unified in purpose but not in substance. Jesus is the literal Son of God and distinct from the Father. Now let's move on to the questions and answers segment, where our debaters will address inquiries from the audience and each other. Do you believe Jesus Christ is God? We believe Jesus is divine, the Son of God, but distinct from God the Father. How do you explain the Trinity? The Trinity is one God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, co-equal and co-eternal. Can you find the concept of the Trinity in the Bible? The word Trinity is not in the Bible. We interpret scriptures to show God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost as separate beings. How do you reconcile Jesus praying to the Father if they are the same being? Jesus, in his incarnation, demonstrated his relationship with the Father. He prayed as the Son to the Father, showing their distinct persons within the Godhead. What does John 1 1 mean to you? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God signifies Jesus' divine nature but distinct existence from God the Father. Do you believe the Father and the Son have physical bodies? We believe God the Father is spirit, as stated in John 4 24. Jesus, in his incarnation, took on a physical body, but the Father and the Holy Spirit do not have physical bodies. How do you interpret Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 calling Jesus mighty God? Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 prophesies Jesus' divine authority and role, but we see this as distinct from God the Father. Do you believe Jesus was created? No, Jesus is eternally begotten, not made. He has always existed with the Father and the Holy Spirit. What is the role of the Holy Spirit in your belief? The Holy Ghost is a distinct personage of spirit, separate from the Father and the Son, guiding and comforting believers. How do you explain Jesus' statement, The Father is greater than I, John 14, 28. This refers to Jesus' voluntary submission and incarnation. In his humanity, he submitted to the Father, though they are equal in essence. Do you believe in the pre-existence of Jesus? Yes, we believe Jesus existed as a spirit being before his mortal birth, as did all humans. How do you interpret John 17, 3, where Jesus calls the Father the only true God? Jesus acknowledges the Father's position in the Godhead, but this does not negate his own divinity as part of the Trinity. What does it mean that Jesus is the image of the invisible God? Colossians 1, 15. Jesus perfectly represents and reveals God the Father, but as a distinct being. How do you understand the baptism of Jesus with the Father speaking and the Spirit descending? This event shows the distinct persons of the Trinity in one scene, each performing their role. What is your view on the Nicene Creed? We do not adhere to the Nicene Creed. We believe in a Godhead of three separate beings. Do you believe that Jesus and Satan are brothers? No, we do not believe this. Jesus is God and Satan is a created being, a fallen angel. How do you interpret Philippians chapter 2 verses 6 to 7 which speaks of Jesus' equality with God? 
we see it as Jesus, who is divine, choosing to humble himself and take on humanity. What is the significance of Jesus saying, I and the Father are one, in John chapter 10, verse 30? It means unity in essence and purpose, affirming Jesus' deity within the Trinity. Do you believe in salvation through Jesus Christ alone? Yes, we believe Jesus Christ's atonement is essential for salvation, but it requires faith, repentance, and ordinances. How do you view the concept of exaltation and becoming like God? We believe in sanctification, becoming more like Christ, but not achieving deity. Do you believe Jesus' resurrection body is the same as his pre-incarnate state? We believe Jesus was resurrected with a glorified, tangible body distinct from his pre-mortal spiritual existence. How do you interpret Revelation chapter 3 verse 14 calling Jesus the beginning of God's creation? It means Jesus is the source or ruler of creation, not a created being. What does it mean that Jesus emptied himself in Philippians chapter 2 verse 7? Jesus laid aside his divine privileges to become human and serve. How do you understand the term Son of God? It signifies Jesus' unique relationship and equality with the Father within the Trinity. Do you believe Jesus' authority is inherent or given? Jesus has inherent divine authority as the Son of God, but also received authority from the Father. How do you view the atonement of Jesus Christ? Jesus' death and resurrection provided full atonement for sin, reconciling humanity with God. Do you believe in the eternal nature of Jesus? Yes, we believe Jesus is eternal but distinct from God the Father. How do you interpret Jesus' title, Son of Man? It emphasizes his humanity and fulfills the prophetic title from Daniel, indicating his messianic role. What does Emmanuel mean to you? It means God with us, indicating Jesus' divine presence on earth. Do you believe Jesus can be seen as a separate God from the Father? No, within the Trinity, Jesus is not a separate God, but one with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in essence. And now we move to the closing statements from both sides. Jesus Christ is central to our faith as the Son of God, fully divine and one with the Father and the Holy Spirit in the Trinity. We honor Jesus Christ as our Savior and Redeemer, the Son of God, distinct from the Father and the Holy Ghost, each with a divine role in our salvation.